boys and girls, Mrs. Tice here. Thanks for tuning in to our music activity. Last week, many of you did a great job drawing your pictures as to the animals you thought you were listening to in that big suite called Carnival of the Animals. Today, we're going to look at one animal in particular. That's the lion. Listen right now as a man named Jack Proletsky writes a poem about the lion. The Lion it's evident the lion is king, in charge of almost everything. Avoid the beast at any cost, for if you fail, then all is lost. If you should hear the lion cough, don't hesitate to hurry off. And if you hear his frightful roars, remove yourself to distant shores. The lordly lion longs to sup on living prey and chew it up. Try not to fall within his sight, lest he dispatch you bite by bite. Besides his royal magnificence, the lion possesses common sense and manages to labor less than every lovely lioness. So now we're going to do a movement activity. In the song, The Lion, it has three different sections, I think, and they sound different. So one section, you're going to sound like a king is walking in the room. And whenever you hear that music, we're going to do this. Then there's another section that sounds like you want to march. And when we get to that music, I want you to march around your house. Now, so I stay in the camera range, I'm going to march right here in front of you. But my favorite part of all is the part where I want you to roar like a lion when it sounds like the lion's roaring and you hear the piano go I want you to roar. You can roar out loud like a lion or just make your hands big. All right, let's try it with some music. Here we go. Ready to march. Here's my question to you. I want you to go back and listen to it again. But this time, count how many roars did you hear? How many roars did you do? Have fun on this week's activity. I can't wait to hear your answers. Bye.